Happy Black History Month. Let's kick off the month by talking about the first ever glam wedding. Yes, this wedding took place in November 1923, so almost 100 years ago. By the way, I'm Ashley, co-host of Here I Do, which is a podcast for brides and wives, and I'm going to be sharing Black history all month long, especially in the context of weddings and marriage. So if that's the type of content you like, I highly suggest you go follow right now because I'm going to be bringing you this great content all month long. So let me introduce you to Miss May Walker, the bride of this glam wedding. And this is May's mama, Ele Leah Walker, who is the daughter of one Madam C.J. Walker. Okay, so you're with me. Um, she was like, I'm definitely setting my daughter up with somebody that got money, a black family that comes from something, so we can have an heir to the Walker name. That brings us to Dr. Gordon H. Jackson, the grandson of a Cincinnati coal dealer. Miss Ella Leah was not planned by her daughter's wedding. One, she invited 9,000 people to the wedding and not because she wanted 9,000 people to show up. She knew it would generate publicity because she invited so many people and so many to do people because come on. But also she spent about $42,000 on this wedding. And though she had people that were like, you're spending too much, you're doing too much. She was like, I'm also stimulating the black economy. So, you know, not too bad, but FYI, that would be about over $700,000 today, okay? Okay. The entire wedding party consisted of very affluent Black Americans, meaning their families were successful, they were successful, they were highly educated, which, remember, was not a very common thing back in the 1920s. So, you know how people have welcome events before their wedding where it's at like a restaurant or a top golf? Well, they had eight days worth of events, including a theater party where everyone got to see this new hot Broadway play exclusively and sticking with the theme of keeping the money in our community all the outfits worn by the bride the matron of honor flower girls bridesmaids except for one gown the bride wore were all made by black people and when it came to the guests it was a fashionable parade of fur according to the new york times mink coats squirrel coats ermine coats and jewels for days meaning the drip was dripping okay they had their honeymoon in Philly so they could attend the Howard Lincoln football game, which was a very, very popular game back in the day. And then she moved to Chicago and she had a baby by him in June of 26. And then quietly fall for divorce because she ain't never let a man in the first place. But anyway, she ended up meeting somebody later and fell in love and they ended up having a child as well. So yeah, that is the story of the first glam wedding. Did you know? Did you love it? Do you want more? Again, follow because I'm going to give you more.